Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving you a bit of a tour of all my animal enclosures. I get so many questions about where I keep all my animals because I have kind of a lot and you guys are like, how do you have space for all these animals and what do you keep them in? So I'm gonna be showing that to you guys today. So I hope you guys find this video to be a bit interesting. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let's get straight to the tour of all my pet enclosures. Shall we? We shall. Let's do it. So we're starting off in the basement and I apologize ahead of time because the lighting is trash down here. It's like the middle of the night. So I just have these crappy, like whatever these lights are. So yeah, this is my Colombian red tail boas enclosure. This is temporary. This is like really bad. This is not something you should keep a red tail boa in. This is not a good example. Uh, this is fine for his size right now, but he's gonna get a lot bigger and outgrow this. But this is literally just a 55 gallon aquarium I had. And on top, there's a screen lid that doesn't lock. So I have these weights on it so that he can't push it off. And then he's in there with his cardboard box hide and a water dish. And then for the substrate, I use a mix of cypress mulch and reptibark. Here's little Athena, my my small red tail noodle. But I do plan on getting her a vision cage in the future that's gonna be a lot bigger and it will be a lot better for her to live in there. And there's also a heat pad down there for her heat source. Next we have Gizmo's cage. This is just a cage I bought at the bird expo I went to like a month ago. This is quite a bit bigger than his old cage. I kind of felt bad and I wanted to give him a bigger cage so I convinced my parents to buy this for Gizmo. A lot of you guys have been asking for Gizmo and asking where he's been, so here he is. Hello, Gizmo. He's probably upset that I woke him up. I'm sorry. And then over here we have Mango's cage. I'll link Mango's cage in the description and I'll also link Gizmo and Gypsy's cage. They have the same cage but a different color because a lot of you guys ask me about where I got Mango's cage and where I got Gypsy's cage. So I will link those in the description if you want to check them out. But yeah, this is Mango's bird cage. Um, there's Mango. Hello, Mango. He's an angry bird because he's like, you woke me up. This is what happens. Mango, be nice. Be nice. God. How embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself, Mango. You're being a sassy bird in front of all the viewers. Do you see this? Mango, th what are you doing? Can you chill? I've never seen Mango act this weird before. What is he doing? This is actually really cute. I should probably wake him up and harass him in the middle of the night more often. Wow. That's a scary, intimidating bird. And then over here, we have my 60 gallon freshwater aquarium. It's planted and I just have a bunch of random fish in there. And as usual, we need to say hi to Dolphin who's hiding in his little log. Dolphin, come out Dolphin. You can see his tail, Dolphin. Dolphin, come on. Fine, Dolphin being a little bitch. Okay, well, yeah, this is my aquarium. Not really much to see here. And then over in here, we have Gypsy's cage. It's basically the same as Gizmo's cage. Like I said, I'll link it in the description so that you guys can check it out. Hello, Gypsy. Why are you standing on your, on your food dish? Is that comfortable for you to sleep there like that? She's like, please stop bothering me. Do you wanna say hi to everyone on the internet, Gypsy? And then a lot of people ask me where I keep Desmond. This is Desmond's cage. It's really just a playpen with a cover over top because yes, he can jump out without the cover. 
and it's probably kind of dirty in there. Hello, Desmond. The viewers have missed you. They said that they wanted to see the big bun. So here's the big bun. He was probably sleeping, but yeah. Hello, Desmo. There isn't really much in there. I have a big plastic tub in there, and that's literally his litter box. And I use feline pine cat litter, and then I have Timothy hay. And over here, there's like a bowl that clips on so that he can't knock it over, and that's where I put his oxbow pellets that he eats. And then in this container next to the cage, I keep the hay. And there's the big bun. Good night, Desmond. We're gonna leave you alone now. Whenever I can, I let Desmond out so he can like run around this room. When I let him run around, he actually just lays against the wall and doesn't move anyways. He's a very lazy bun. And then just moving on to my room, I recently installed this rack that I bought from Home Depot to kind of organize all the enclosures in my room because they were just kind of scattered all over the place. And now I just have them all right here, so it's really simple. So we'll start from the top. We have my succulents. Up here we have Monty's tank. It's just a vision cage. It has the sliding doors. He has his cardboard box hide. Oh, there he is. Hello, Monty. Hi. What a cute noodle. So for the substrate, I use a mixture of Reptibark, Cypress Mulch, and I have some sphagnum moss in there just because that all holds humidity really well. And then I also just have a water dish in there. Um, they really don't require a whole lot in their tanks, so that's what I have in Monty's vision cage. Moving down, we have Malachi's tank. He has his basking bulb, his little basking spot. Uh, I have him in an Exoterra. I think it's a wide, low tank. It's basically like a 40 gallon breeder, but it's a little bit shorter because they really don't need much height in their tank. And then this, just so you guys know, is not sand. It looks like sand. I do not recommend keeping bearded dragons on sand. If you guys can see, this is like a carpet. I'll try to show you guys. See how it's like a carpet? It's like made to look like sand, but it's really not sand. But I still don't really like it because it's hard to clean when they shit on it. I plan on eventually putting tiles in here. I also have this hammock that I bought for him, but I don't really know where to put it. I just am lazy, but eventually that'll go in there. And then right next to Malachi, we have Ceiling, my pixie frog. Right now, he's just in a 10 gallon tank. I plan on moving him into a 20 gallon, but for now, he's fine in here. He is gonna get a lot bigger, but he's just a little baby right now. He's actually pretty big. He looks kind of small on camera, but he's pretty big. And he's just on coconut fiber, and I'll probably add some sphagnum moss in there too. And he just has a water dish, and that's literally all that's there. He just kind of sits there all day. They aren't super exciting creatures. So yeah, there's your ceiling for you. Hey ceiling, what's up? And then directly below ceiling, I have Caster's tank. Caster's my blue tongue skink. He's in a 40 gallon breeder. I have a basking spot, a little log hide. He usually just burrows in the substrate, which I use a mix of Reptibark, Cypress mulch, and sphagnum moss. They do need humidity. I have a water dish, and then I also have a fogger in there because that helps keep the humidity up because I do still miss his tank, but because of the heat lamp, it really still dries out the tank a lot, so I just have the fogger in there to kind of raise the humidity a little bit. It's not really turned on right now, that's why it's not fogging. Here you go, see it in action. Wow, much fog, cool. But yeah, caster's in there my blue tongue skank. He's sleeping right now, that's why you can't see him. And by the way, I just turned the lamps on just so you could see them. I don't actually keep them on all night. I'm gonna turn them off now. Good night, friends. Good night.
And then over here on my dresser, I have a Fluval spec. The glass is kind of dirty. You can like see a bunch of watermarks. I'm sorry. It usually looks a lot better than this. But this is just where I keep my blue crayfish. It is a five gallon Fluval spec. And he's just hiding back there. Um, why are you hiding from us? You sassy lobster, you can kind of see him. I'll try to get an angle. There he is. Hello. Hello, my sassy lobster. Yeah. And then, ignore all the random junk over here. I'm sorry, my, my room and life is a mess. But I have my crested geckos in an exoterra tall tank. Uh, it's not the small tall, but it's like the bigger one. I really don't know which size it is but it's like the perfect size for crested geckos. I have, I believe, a male and a female. It's either a male and a female or two females. I'm not really sure about Lance's gender, but yeah, there's one of them hiding in the corner. I just have a bunch of like vines and fake plants and sticks. And for the substrate, again, I use cypress mulch, reptibark, sphagnum moss, just to hold in all the humidity. And then I have a little dish there that I put either insects or I put their pangea in it. And then I mist this twice a day. And if you don't want to get an exoterra tank, crested geckos need at least a 20 gallon long turned on its side because they want a tall tank because they like to climb. All right, so I actually got my crested geckos out. That's Lance, he's a pinstripe crested gecko. And then that is Luna, who is a partial pinstripe. We're gonna go back to your tank. Be free, be free. Go on. All right, all right, cool. And then last but not least, I have my reef tank. It's a 29 gallon. I just have my little clownfish friends. They're black ice clownfish. I have uh, zoanthids and these coral frags at the bottom. I also have a couple different types of shrimp in here and a yellow watchman goby. I haven't gone too crazy on the fish in here yet. Plan on getting a few more, but yeah, that's basically it for my reef tank. Let's just say hi to the clownfish. Hi. Hello, friend. Hello. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing where all my animals live. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week and check out my social media. The links to those will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.